I cannot believe this one is free. It's by Waves, it's brand new, and it's called Cosmos. Hey, what's up, my friend? The Crystal Lim here from Mixdown Online. Exciting video today. We're talking about a free plugin. I love talking about free stuff. And this is actually one of the best free plugin that I've used so far. It's by Waves, it's called Cosmos. It's an amazing loop and sample finder. Very well done, very easy to work with. And if you manage a bunch of loops and samples, you are gonna love this one. Let's check it out. Okay, now I'm gonna jump right into a sampler called CR8 by Waves. Now, this one is also brand new, just came out. Now you're probably gonna ask me why am I gonna use CR8 and that is because Cosmos is well integrated within CR8 uh, and they both work very well together. So to access Cosmos from CR8, what I can do is to click on that icon on the top left and that will bring up Cosmos. Now, I'm not gonna focus on the CR8 sampler in this video, that could be for a future video, but I'm gonna focus way more on Cosmos. So I'm first gonna show you most of the features we have with Cosmos and how you can work it out on your side and look for you know, the perfect samples for your productions. Okay, so now if we look on the left side of the window, we have the local folders. If you don't see that window, make sure you click on that small folder icon on the left and that will bring up the local folders. This is where you'll be able to select a folder out of your computer where all of your samples are located at, okay? And then um, it's gonna tell Cosmos to scan that folder, okay? So you can add more than one like I did. I have the default one that came uh, with, uh, with the CR8 sampler, which is the Waves Audio Factory samples. And I also have my own sample folders that I have right here, okay? So I have four of them for now. I still need to load a few more, but this is what I have right now. So what Cosmos is gonna do is to analyze all the loops and samples you have within that selected folder and extract all the information like uh, BPM values, the key uh, of uh, the samples, the length, if it's a one shot or a, a loop, you know, all those types of infos uh, needed for you to be able to search for the correct loop or samples. And on top of that, Cosmos will add tags on your samples and loops. So this way it makes your life way easier and and gives you a way better experience on searching for loops and samples. So let's check it out. So we have on top all those tags that I was telling you about that you can uh, use uh, to search for loops and samples. For example, you want to uh, just look for a drum loop. You can select drums, make sure you select loop, and there you go. You have a bunch of different loops to choose from that you can actually listen to by clicking on the play button right here. Okay, so you get the idea. And you can also add more than one tag. So let's say uh, I'm selecting drums, let's go with electronic, and then let's go with uh, a dark also, and listen to what we have. All right, so that gives you an idea. So I'm gonna clear this up. And uh, next, what we have uh, right now, we are straight into the waveform view. We have three views. There's the waveform where we are at right now and also the list uh, view. And we also have the Cosmos view. And this one is actually pretty awesome. And this is gonna be very useful when searching for a good one-shot sample, uh, which you can do uh, within the waveform view and list view. But when you activate and you go straight into the Cosmos view, this is what you get, and this is quite amazing. And this is not gonna work for loops, but only for one shots. Now, it looks pretty cool. It looks like we're in space. We have all those little stars or dots, uh, which will represent a sample. So if I click on one of them, that is one sample, okay? So I'm just gonna zoom in. So just to give you a better idea of what we're getting here, and let me just bring that window a bit bigger, okay? Uh, so we can actually zoom in and out if we want to. Now we have different colors right here because the way um, this uh, like visual window is sorted is by brightness, okay? And if we click on brightness on top, we can actually sort that by space also, saturation, dynamics, and 
instruments, uh, which is quite useful. We actually have a visual of all the samples available within these folders located on the left side. Now, the more left we click, the more darker the samples will be. If I click on the right side, okay, more bright type of samples, which are mainly symbols. So the more left we go, the more dark the sound is. Okay, uh, if we select a space, now this time around, the more left we go, the more drier the sound. If we go on the right side, now we have samples, you know, that has way more space uh, on them, which is quite nice. And same goes for saturation. Uh, the more left we go, the less saturated the sound is. And if we go towards the right side, we have more saturated sounds. Now we can also deactivate the gradient uh, option on top and then uh, the colors are gonna change. Now, as you can tell, we have different colors available right here and those will represent each instrument type. Okay, so drums are gonna be a certain color, uh, like kick drums also will be a certain color, a snare is gonna have a different color than the kick, a piano is gonna have a different color and so on. And if you wanna just have a visual of what that looks like if all those instruments are sorted by instrument type, just click on instrument and there you go. So those are all the samples available sorted by instrument types. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. So those are all the snares that I have. And those are all the kicks, I believe. There you go. 808s. Even vocals, I believe, right here. There you go. So, you know, super cool, super nice and easy to go and look for a specific uh, instrument type sample. Now, something nice also that you can, uh, uh, you can do if you, uh, let's say I'm looking for a snare sound. I can select this one and just to use my arrows, like the up and down arrows and listen to all the samples that I have close to the initial one. Or I can just use my mouse and just drag my mouse over and listen to those samples. Now, the cool thing is that Cosmos will keep everything you do in memory, okay? So we have the history uh, option right here at the bottom right. So this way you can go back and listen to a previous sample you just listened to. And you can use your left and right arrow to do so. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, now I'm gonna look for a few things here. Let's go and build a drum groove. So I'm gonna look for a kick and let's go by brightness. And uh, I'm gonna look for kick drums. I'm gonna select the kick uh, tag. And those are all the kicks that I have. If I select the right side, those are gonna be a bit more bright and more dark on the left side. Oh, this one is cool. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Now that I'm ready to use this uh, sample, what I can do is to use the CR8 sampler by Waves. This is one option that I have. Um, and just drag it up right into the sample or just click on that arrow aiming down and it's gonna go straight into a, a sample layer that I have right here on top. Now I can add up to eight layers on this sampler, uh, which is quite nice. Now from this point on, what I'm gonna do here is just to go right here on the keyboard tab and uh, bring the range to C1. So every time I click on C1 on my controller, it's gonna trigger the uh, kick sound. I'm gonna bring the root to C1, go back on the kick tab, click on launch so it plays the full uh, sample. And if I play my little controller on C1, I get my kick drum. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to Cosmos and this time around I'm gonna look for a snare sound. Okay, I'm looking for an electronic snare sound. So I'm gonna select electronic on top of snare. 
as far as the tags goes. Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna bring back my sampler, add a sample layer, and drag it right into it. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the previous one, and this time around on D1, and now, Perfect. So now I just use the Beat Designer to write down a very simple groove here. Perfect. I'm going to keep that one. Click on Insert Pattern at Cursor. And deactivate the MIDI Insert. And there you go. Perfect, let's go back into Cosmos. And this time around, I'm gonna go into the waveform view. I'm gonna look for a hi-hat loop. Okay, so loop is selected. And uh, let's uh, go with hats. Hi-hat is right here. Uh, and what I'm gonna do here is to select the key and BPM, because I can also search by using the tempo and using the key. Uh, if I want to. So I'm going to look for a hi-hat loop that is close by 5 BPM of my uh, sessions BPM, which is 120. And let's have a listen. All right, so I'm going to keep this one. So I'm just going to drag it straight into my session. It's going to create itself an audio track. And this is what I want. And let's change the color of that channel. And there you go. If I listen to this hi-hat groove with my uh, kick and snare. Let's bring this one darker. I'm just going to add a low-pass filter. There you go. Low pass and high pass filter on the hi-hat. Uh, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back into uh, Cosmos and let's go and look for a piano loop this time. Let's go by uh, BPM also. I'm gonna bring that down to plus or minus four BPM and listen to what I have. Okay, let's go with the first one. Yeah, I kind of like that one. All right, so I'm gonna bring it, drag it straight into Cubase, change the color of the track, and there you go. Let's listen to what we have. This one is at 120 BPM uh, right off the bat, which is great because this is the same uh, BPM as my session. Okay, let me do some editing here and make this one a bit more suitable for the groove. That was easy, that was fast, uh, and I just came up with a Pretty cool beat, you know, that I can actually use to create a new piece of music if I want to. So what I did so far was to use the uh, CR8 sampler uh, for my kick and snare. And for the hi-hat loop and uh, the piano loop, I was just able to, uh, to, to bring those out of Cosmos straight into Cubase on audio channels in a very simple way, just by dragging and dropping them right into my session. Something I can also do if I don't want to use the CR8 sampler, I can use any sampler that I want. If you use Cubase Pro, you can actually use any samples out of Cosmos, dragging that sample out straight into the sampler uh, within the lower zone of your project window, and that will create a sampler track. And you can work uh, from this point on if you want to. You can also use a drum instrument like Groove Agent uh, and just drag and drop those samples from Cosmos straight on a Groove Agent pad in a very easy way.
and build your own drum kit in Groove Agent by using the help of Cosmos, which is very nice. So this is what you get with Cosmos. Amazing loop and sample finder. Love working with this tool. Increases my workflow when it comes to look for new samples and loops within all the samples that I have. So it makes it very fast uh, and focus more on the creative side than you know wasting time on looking and searching all around the computer uh, to get the perfect loop and sample. Okay, so check it out. Link is down below. And if you also want to check out the CR8 sampler, the intro price is at $9.99, if I'm not mistaken, just for a limited time. So check it out. Again, links are down below. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or comments. Like always, leave everything down below. Until next time, take care and see you.